Space. The final frontier. Every human on the planet has at least once looked to the stars and wondered what might be out there. Every answer we've received has only led to more questions and an infinite thirst for knowledge and adventure. Being the inspiration for many things we find today in modern pop culture and also the subject for many existential crises. Damn you, Lovecraft! Ignore him. He has had too much cheese before bed. Trust me, I have told him about it many a times. But I digress. It has also been the subject of a dick measuring contest, which got so big it grew out of our orbit and left its mark on the universe. Hello one and all to another video, I'm Connor Jones, and today I bring you 5 fascinating space race facts. The space race was a strange leg in the arms race between the United States and the Soviet Union, in which both nations effectively competed to demonstrate their greater space flight ability and technology than the other. So without further ado, let's dive into this very interesting subject. Number 1. The first Earthlings ever to venture into space were not human at all. The United States sent monkeys on test flights, whereas the Soviet Union sent stray dogs. This was due to the unknown physiological effects of zero gravity space flight, especially for prolonged periods of time. This didn't always end favourably for the animals. In the 1940s, the first attempt for the US to send a monkey into space was Albert, who died of suffocation. Albert too, another monkey, reached space alive. However, upon returning to Earth, his shuttle's parachute failed, and he smashed into the ground and died. Alberts 3 and 4 would also die in late 1949. Albert 5 would die in another parachute failure. Albert 6 survived, in 1951, however, the shuttle only reached an altitude of 45 miles, not quite reaching what was accepted to be space. He then also died several hours after landing. As for the Soviet Union, space dogs, some of them actually survived, however one dog named Laker was launched into space with no plans to bring her home, and she died after a few hours in orbit. I guess in the animal cruelty department, it's hard to tell who won. Interesting fact number two. On the 12th of April, 1961, cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin was on the cusp of becoming the first man in space aboard Vostok 1. On his way to the launch pad, he asked the bus to pull over so he could relieve himself against the rear right-hand tyre. Thereafter, becoming a strange tradition amongst cosmonauts to either relieve themselves against the bus or bring a vial of urine to splash on the rear right hand tyre. Bit odd, not sure what did it, but every industry has its traditions. Number 3. Rocket technology was also adapted for ground vehicle combat, albeit somewhat poorly. Introducing the rocket assisted T-62 tank, the Soviet Union's explosively terrible concept of a rocket boosted armoured vehicle to quickly dash across short distances. How does this relate to space? It just doesn't. The earlier Soviet rockets were prone to exploding, slapping them on the rear of a tank was certainly not a safe idea. Number 4. In October of 1967, the Soviet probe Venera 4 was the first human made device to enter the atmosphere of another planet, successfully landing on Venus revealing the atmosphere to be mostly carbon dioxide. On the 8th of June 1975, Venera 9 will become the first probe to return images from another planet. Photographing a black and white 180 degree panorama view of Venus's surface. Venera 13 will return the first recording of sounds from another planet, landing on the planet on the 1st of March 1982. I think it's certainly safe to say that the Venera probes have made the mark on history. Finally, number 5. The origins of the space race date back to the 1800s, with the Cosmists, a Russian movement that would influence the Soviet scientist Konstantin Tsiolkovsky 
to calculate the possibility of using liquid propellant rockets to reach outer space. Salkovsky would later state that his theory of rocketry was only intended as a supplement to the Cosmist's philosophical research. Among the works featured designs for multi-stage boosters, space stations, closed cycle biometric systems and airlocks for safely exiting spacecraft into the vacuum of space. All these theories and ideas were certainly ahead of the time. I think it's amazing the fact that people were thinking of space travel well before the capability came to fruition. So thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, like it, share and subscribe. If you have a friend who hasn't yet subscribed to Decades or seen any of our content, build a time machine, send them back to the 1940s, dress them up as a chimp and let the US send them to space. Complete with an iPad preloaded with all our content so you have no other option but to watch our channel whilst they live their final few moments. But remember, in space, no one can hear you scream, but Jones can. That'll be all. Thank you.